I can remember my roommate coming into the room and saying something along the lines of, they're bombing us, they're bombing us. And I didn't really understand what he said. There was definitely a commotion going on outside. I knew something was going on. I grabbed my camera and I grabbed my film. Not because I thought something was going on, but because I was going to do my first assignment for college. September 11th was my first day of college at New York University. And I was living on 5th Avenue between 10th and 11th Street. When I finally went outside, I was planning on going to the MoMA to study Renaissance paintings and look at gesture. But when I left my front door on Fifth Avenue and started to turn to the right, I realized everyone was looking to the left down Fifth Avenue towards the Twin Towers. When I looked, I saw both towers up in smoke with two big crater-sized holes in them. The whole city was frozen, looking at the buildings, talking, but mainly silent not believing what they were seeing. I couldn't believe it. At first, the only way that I could continue on through the day and that morning, especially right away, was bringing the camera to my eye and acknowledging what was happening through the lens. It was almost too overwhelming to see it in person. I remember walking up to Washington Square Park, which was two blocks in front of me, and seeing a young lady sitting on the fountain writing as the towers were burning. I remember seeing people holding on to a chain link fence, looking, not knowing what was happening. I remember a photographer with a long lens pointing out that the little specks we were seeing from the top of the building were people jumping. When I heard that, it started setting in how terrible and how awful this thing that was happening and unfolding in front of me. I kept making pictures almost as a defense mechanism to be able to move and I can remember when the first tower fell is the first time I realized that this wasn't going to be an easy fix, that it wasn't coming back anytime soon, and that so many lives had just been lost in that split second. I don't think it was until later I realized how any second an event can happen that changes everything personally and for the world. I remember being really interested in what other people were feeling and reacting to the event. So I watched and made pictures of people watching. After the second tower fell, people started moving a little bit more around the streets. People started looking for people, friends, trying to get in touch with family. Some people were thinking about the long walk home to Brooklyn over the bridges. I remember thinking about all the new people that I had met that first week of orientation and what they were all doing and if they were all right. Eventually, I ran into a group of friends in Washington Square Park, and we kind of came together. We went and tried to donate our blood to a couple hospitals. The lines were very long, and they only needed O negative. So we kept walking. A friend of mine from Philadelphia, Alex, who was a couple years ahead of me at NYU, was there, and we walked downtown. We walked through Chinatown. We could see the big plumes of smoke still coming from Ground Zero. By the time we hit Canal Street, there was a very strong police presence, and the streets were blocked off. The dust had covered all the cars and it made its way all the way to Canal Street by early afternoon. I kept making pictures as a way to try to process what was happening around me, and also as a way to hold on. That night, I have to say, is a little foggy for me. I don't really remember. I know that I was with Alex and a bunch of other new friends that I had met, and we just stayed together. I was able to get in touch with my parents earlier on that morning through someone's computer and I remember my mom being hysterical and happy I was all right and my father telling me to hang in there. Making pictures was my way of hanging in there. By the next day there was a haze in the city, a dust. Everyone had to wear bandanas below 14th Street over their face to protect them from the dust. In 24 hours, my freshman experience had turned from 
being at a university to being in a war zone where I had to get my ID checked every 10 blocks to get where I lived. Missing people flyers everywhere around the city. We met back up on the 12th, September 12th, back in Washington Square Park, and a friend picked up a roll of film that she just got developed. The pictures were from her dorm window at Water Street and showed the towers. They were gone now, and we had to figure out how to keep on going. That night, there was a candle lit visual at Washington Square Park that we all attended. And I can remember banding together with my new friends and old friends in this new city to be able to support and get through. Still my understanding on the world perspective of what this meant or what was about to happen was a little unknown to me. I was still too busy trying to deal with my own feelings and understanding of the event. As I look back at the pictures now, I can realize how lost I was, yet notice the energy that I had to continue to live and love. I made pictures of honoring people and their experience watching the towers because I knew that people were dying. In a place where there is not war, there's always that parallel of war happening. And I think from that day on is when I realized how precious the moment is to be safe, because in other places you're not safe. And how precious it is to have the people you love be happy and healthy around you. And the understanding that that can change at any second.